Hey, how y'all doing? You know, if you change tools on your tractor as often as I do in a day, you know how time consuming and aggravating it can become. Those tools are heavy and kind of hard to manhandle when you're trying to line those pins up on the lift arms of your tractor. Well, Pat Greenwell, over at Greenwell Manufacturing, came up with a solution that makes life so much better. Rather than having a ball joint that you actually have to slip onto the pin, you simply back your tractor up with the hook below the pin and then lift up on your hitch, the pin falls in. And once you get off to hook your top link, you lock it in place. As you can see, I've got one already installed. I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to install the other one. Different makes and models of tractors come with different size lift arms. Some are wider, some are narrower. Well, Pat solved that by supplying some shims that comes with the system. Here's the shim that I'm gonna install on uh, my hitch. Comes with a roll pin. You're gonna wanna insert that roll pin and drive it through the shim until it's even with the outside. I'm going to just do that on the draw bar. This is one of the three tools that you're going to need, the hammer, to install the whole setup. If you look in the back of the hitch, there's a hole drilled in the bottom. Slip the shim in and let the pin fall through that hole and you're ready to go. Now before slipping the hitch on, you're gonna have to back out these bolts on each side. And you're gonna have to remove the pin. It's held in place with a Kodak pin. Slip it in. You have to wiggle it a little bit to get it lined up, but it'll go in. Once you've got it in there, slip the cotter pin back in. And it's pretty well positioned. Now you want your, your hitch, your hook, to be parallel with the tractor. That's what those bolts are for. I'll start tightening the ones on the inside until I feel them just snugging up against the, the lift arm. Now, you take the second tool that you're gonna need, which is a 9 16 wrench, and start snugging them up. Making sure that the hook stays parallel with the tractor. Once you have them fairly tight, go ahead and put your jam nut all the way against the hitch and tighten it. The next thing you want to install is the U-bolt. Fits right over the lift arms. 
You install the washer and a nut. Well, it's actually two nuts, but we're just going to put on one right now. Okay, we want to tighten these up. Once that's done, put the jam nut on. And tighten it. Once you're satisfied that everything is tight and secure, you want to open up your cotter pin. It doesn't take much. It ain't coming out, trust me. Here's an accessory that I strongly recommend that you get when you buy your your hitch system, and that's the stabilizer bar. It fits right onto the pins and is adjustable. Because we don't all have standard category one tools or implements or equipment, the width of the pins vary from tool to tool. And you want to be able to set your, your hitch at the right width. Now, I went and measured one of my semi non-category one tools. And I know that I need from inside to inside just a hair over 27 inches. You ready to go hook up to some rolling cultivators? Let's go give them a try. With the two pins secured on the bottom, all we have to do is hook our top link and we're ready to go.